Good morning. This is Dennis with Impatient Creations again, and we have an opportunity here to see an original, this is 1965 Olds Cutlass. We have not restored it. It was restored dozens of years ago. Been in shops, couldn't get it completed. Just the assembly has taken uh, some challenges for people because things didn't fit. People lost uh, parts and different things like that. They had to put disc brakes on it, then they had to put it on under 14 inch, I mean under 15 inch wheels because they didn't know how to handle it for 14 inch wheels. So we went back to the 14s that the original owner wanted on there. They wanted the factory air to work, so we were able to get the factory air to work. So when you see under the hood, it looks very original. Now it's not perfect, but it's very original, what you'd see under a 1965 holes hood. But the things that we had to do is keep it original. So that's what we did on the 65 holes. Somebody else painted it. It's Pretty good paint. We were able to polish it up, make it nice. Uh, the trim we had to work with, somebody else had done the chrome, that seemed to be pretty good. So we've taken parts and pieces that he's had and then we've added to it based on what was missing. We're now under the hood of that 65 Olds. Now it's a power steering, power brake, air conditioned, Rocket 350. They call it the high compression, high, ultra high compression was uh, what they called it back in 65. But you, if you look at this, it's very original. Um, it's, we did put an aluminum radiator in to, to keep it cool and we put electric fans on it because in Alabama, we just need a little help to get the air moving across it when you're at idle. So uh, he wanted to be cool when he pulled up to a traffic light. And we got all of the electrical working, all of the vacuum systems working. Uh, we did put uh, a new master cylinder on it and, and have a, has, a, has a new prop valve on it so that it, it separates between the disc brakes and the drum brakes in the rear. This, the owner's really excited about it. Oh, we got a new uh, hood liner, which is uh, really, you know, sounds simple, but little things like that make the uh, engine quieter when you lower the hood. We're looking at the sides, uh, the sides or side view of the 65 Cutlass. A couple of things I want you to know that it just barely fits in a standard garage today. But one of the things that really is different from the modern cars that we see today with four doors, the doors are shorter in those cars. But these doors open way up and they will not be compatible with a standard parking place. You, you it's just not compatible. But these older cars do have uh, a lot of length to them that is not that we don't find on today's cars, unless you're in one of the big SUVs with three seats. But a two-door is really, really a rare car today. We're now in the interior of the 65 Olds Cutlass, and very stock. These are very original style uh, door panels. The seat covers are the same. Uh, something I did forget to mention when we were looking in the engine compartment, um, you couldn't tell it from the outside because it looks original, is we took the four barrel off and we put on a um, throttle body fuel injection. So it's all fuel injected. It, you turn the key to the right and it starts. You don't have to remember how many times to pump the uh, accelerator and all that. But on the interior, it's very stock. Uh, we got all the controls working, all the vacuum controls working. The radio is a stock radio, but what we did that we do on so many of our cars is we take that stock radio, we take the innards out, and we put in uh, Bluetooth, uh, we put in a four channel stereo system. Some of the owners wanna uh, up it with uh, subs and different things like that. But this one has four speakers, two in the uh, kick panels and two in the hat rack or the package tray up behind the back seat. It's very original. We redid the steering wheel and that was a challenge because we had to get it back and you know, and, and looking original with all the cracks and everything that was in it. So we got that done. But in 65, they still had, or they, the uh, uh, Oldsmobile folks had the air conditioning coming out of the dash, which that is one of the, among one of the first, 63, four and fives is where they started that uh, air conditioning actually coming through the dash. As Oldsmobile is, they were a class up from the Chevrolet or they thought they were. And so that's the way they, uh, way they did it. But it's a great looking car. Uh, we're, we're excited to have the opportunity to finish this car. And all this trim that was on it was, was not working, and so we had to get it all to work, and get the doors adjusted and all of that. 
and these doors are heavy with that big old glass in them. Please enjoy this. Uh, I want to ask you to like, comment, and share. Um, we have an opportunity, and we do, out of the 40 or so projects that are here today, probably, well, well over half of them came from other shops. We are the finishers, so take a look at this and, and like us, we, uh, we enjoy this car. And you may have a car that you need to get completed. ImpatientCreations.com.